When you're dribbling, I think it's important that you don't just watch the ball and do your own skills. You have to see what the defender's doing. If they've got their feet facing one way and yours are the other way, you've already beaten him. You can accelerate and go into that space rather than getting bogged down and going into a corner. It's a lot harder to defend when you're going at pace, but not just that, when it's a change of pace. So starting off slow or at like a slower speed and then change of direction and change of pace really can help you beat the defender more easily. It's important that your footwork is good so you'll be able to move your feet and the ball separately. Work your feet once you've beaten someone on either side. Get in a position to pass, because that's why you should be dribbling, to get in a better position to pass. When you're dribbling, it's important that you have vision so you can carry and go to spaces while still looking up. And when you're looking up, I think you can still look at the ball in your peripheral vision. I think that's what sets apart the better players from others, because they're able to see more. Obviously, in a tight space, it's different. You might need to get your stick on the ball and react to people's sticks, but as quickly as possible, you want to regain vision. So getting in that space and then looking to pass. Important also to pre-scan, so recognize what you're doing before you get the ball, and then it gives you a picture in your mind before you get it. So you're not just reacting all the time, it's actually a conscious decision. I think it's important to talk about your first touch and think about where you're taking your first touch and where that's going to go to set you up to beat the defender. If you're in more space, you can get the defender on the move before you actually start carrying, so you can move them and then attack in behind them afterwards. Probably like just get started to keep.